All right. Humans exist. Watching me. All right. I'm about to tell you something totally countercultural. You should not go to the gym. That is not just because of coronavirus and it's illegal to go to the gym right now. No. When the world opens back up again, you should not go to the gym. That is because calisthenics or bodyweight training is a better alternative to going to the gym and working out. If you are a beginner, that is working out is not your life. You're just adding it into your routine and you don't want it to mess with the rest of your routine. So to prove my point, I'm first going to go over my experience with calisthenics. Then I'm going to give a brief definition because not everyone is completely aware of what calisthenics is. Then I'm gonna go over the benefits. So first, my experience. I started working out a little over a year ago when I quit sports in favor of theater. I wanted to stay in shape. And at the time I didn't have a car, didn't have enough money for a gym membership. So I was forced to choose calisthenics and I have no regrets. Calisthenics has got me in the best shape of my life and the results have been great. And I now firmly believe that calisthenics for beginners and people who are casually working out just to be healthy is a better alternative to going to the gym. Now I'm gonna define calisthenics real quick because most people just think it's like push-ups, pull-ups, stuff you do in PE in kindergarten. Yes, that's true to a degree, but it's more and broader than that. Joshua Clark, who is a writer on the website Muscle Pursuits, defines calisthenics as resistance training using your own body weight. So anytime you work out, what's happening is you are forcing your muscles to contract against resistance. When you're working out at the gym and using weights, if you're curling, that dumbbell is providing the resistance to your bicep contracting. When you're doing calisthenics, let's say the push-up, your body is providing the resistance that's making it harder for your muscles to, to contract and push your body off the ground. So there are tons of calisthenic exercises that fit under this description. And I would even say walking counts because your legs are working against the resistance of your upper body to move you forward and keep you standing. All right, now I'm gonna go to the benefits of calisthenics. First one, it can be done anywhere. I could, in this room right here, complete a full body workout using calisthenics. That would cut my travel time to the gym. The nearest gym is only five minutes away, but still five minutes one way, five minutes back, that's 10 minutes that I could be putting towards working out longer or doing something else. It also cannot be disrupted by a change in routine. I went to Disney World last year. If I am working out at the gym, going to Disney World means I don't work out for a week. But since I'm doing calisthenics, I was able to continue my workout routine even in Disney World. Next, it's easier on the body. To paraphrase Jonathan Clark, calisthenics has a much lower chance of causing joint problems compared to lifting weights. Weights cause strain on the joints and calisthenics actually promote blood flow through the joints. Your body is designed to handle its own weight. So there's less risk of getting injured working out when you're doing calisthenics. And when you're a beginner, you don't want to get hurt working out. You just want to stay in shape. Another benefit of calisthenics is that it's free. I don't think I need to explain that one any further. We all understand that free is a good thing. Next, calisthenics burns fat quicker. A lot of beginners are looking to burn fat above most other things when they're just starting to work out. And calisthenic workouts and exercises activate multiple muscles and multiple muscle groups. Whereas a lot of weightlifting exercises focus on targeting just one muscle or one muscle group. So with calisthenics, you're gonna be working more muscles, which means you're gonna be burning more calories, which means you're going to be losing fat quicker. The last benefit of calisthenics I'm gonna go over is a concept called relative strength that calisthenics improves. Now, relative strength is a new concept to many, but it is so, so important. The website OPEX, which is designed as a resource for fitness trainers, defines relative strength as a person's ability to control or move their body through space. So a lot of gymnastics that you see being done, that's relative strength in action, is that athletic strength, that agile strength. And it's so important. To illustrate its importance, I'll tell you a story. There's this guy, Chris Heria, who owns a brand called Thenex that is huge in the calisthenics world. 
and he tells this story to illustrate how important relative strength is. He says, imagine you're in a gym and there's a ton of just bodybuilders in there who can lift insane amounts of weights. They can row a ton, they can bench a ton, whatever, but then they can't do five pull-ups. That's because they lack relative strength. And if you can't do, if, if you can lift 400 pounds, deadlift that, but can't do five pull-ups, I mean, what's really the point? Relative strength is super important because it's, it's like a healthy strength. So why not give calisthenics a try? I mean, it is, if you're looking for something that doesn't interrupt your routine, your other stuff, you have a busy life, you want to be able to fit in a workout that is cost and time efficient, calisthenics is going to do that better than getting a membership at your local gym. There are tons of resources that can help you out. Chris Harry's YouTube channel is a good place to start that I would recommend. And there's no better time than now. With coronavirus, we are all forced to stay at home. We can't go to the gym. So you are in the position I was in over a year ago. If you want to work out, you have to choose calisthenics. And if you choose calisthenics, you'll find out that it is a lot better.